Hello friends, this is Priyanka. Today we are going to solve a problem on flow through pipes. In this video, we are going to find out what is the rate of flow of water from this different cross-sectional area of the pipe for which one end is connected to the tank by considering major and minor losses. So first, I will read what is the given problem. A horizontal pipeline 40 meter long is connected to a water tank at one end and discharges freely into the atmosphere at the other end. For the first 25 meter of its length from the tank, the pipe is 150 millimeter diameter and its diameter is suddenly enlarged to 300 millimeter. The height of water level in the tank is 8 meter above the center of the pipe. Considering all the losses of head which occur determine the rate of flow. Take F is equal to 0 0.01 for both sections of the pipe. So this was the given question. Let us first understand the diagram as per given data. Now if we observe there is the pipe with different cross section area. So we have to show that and one end is getting attached to the tank. Now we have to plot here the given data. So what is the total length of pipe? 40 meters. So L is equal to 40. Then for the first of diameter 0 0.15 meter the length of pipe is given 25. So we will say L1 is equal to 25 meter. D1 is equal to 0 0.50 meter. So this uh, diameter is given in millimeter. So we have to convert it into standard unit that is meter. Then what is the remaining length? So 40 minus 25 that is 15 meter. So for this diameter 0 0.3 meter. So D2 is equal to 0 0.3 meter. L2 is equal to 15 meter. And here the surface of water is given at a height of 8 meter from the center of pipe. So here is the center of pipe and we have to show this capital H is equal to 8 meter. So here I have shown. So coefficient of friction F is equal to also given that is 0 0.01. Now if we observe here this pipe is having with two different cross section area. That means what? Suppose we consider here the rate of flow that is Q remains constant. Then because of different cross section area velocity will also different. So for the first pipe, we will show here velocity V1. So we will consider this pipe as a first pipe and this pipe as a second pipe. And in the second pipe, we have to show the velocity V2. Now what is the direction of this velocity? So it is in the same direction of the flow. That is towards the right hand direction. Now we will consider here the section 1 and section 2 and we will apply the Bernoulli's equation. Why? Because in this question we have to find out what is the rate of flow Q. So for this we will first apply Bernoulli's equation for first section. So where is the first section? We will consider that is above the water surface in the tank. And the second section we will consider at the outlet of the pipe. So here is the section 1 and here is the section 2. Now we will apply the Bernoulli's equation. So P1 by rho g plus V1 square by 2g plus Z1 which is equal to P2 by rho g plus V2 square by 2g plus Z2 plus all losses. Now here we have to consider major losses as well as minor losses. So we will understand this Bernoulli's equation 1 by 1. Now what is P1 by rho g? That is the pressure head at section 1. Now if we observe here is the free surface of water which is open to atmosphere. So take pressure head 0. Now what about the kinetic head V1 square by 2G. So what is the velocity of water at this section 1. Now if we observe here this is the tank so velocity is almost nearly equal to 0. Because water is not flowing continuously so we have to take V1 square by 2G is equal to 0. Then what about this Z1? So here we will take the datum line or reference line as the line passing through the center of pipe. So from the center of pipe what is the distance of the surface of water? That is 8 meter. So we will take here Z1 is equal to 8. Now which is equal to now P2 by rho g. Now again we will move for the section 2. 
so section 2 that is the outlet of pipe so outlet of pipe is open to atmosphere so p2 by rho g 0 then v2 square by 2g so what is the velocity in the pipe so we have to consider that because we because here the cross section area of the pipe is decreased than as compared to tank so as this cross section area is getting decreased velocity will be getting increased so we have to consider this velocity so we will say here velocity v2 is getting increased so we will write here v2 square by 2g plus z2 so now z2 that is the datum head but here the center of pipe that is the datum line or reference line that we have considered so here we have to take z2 is equal to 0 now plus all losses so here we have to consider the major losses as well as minor losses if we observe this structure here this pipe is connected to the tank so at the entrance of pipe there is the loss so we can say that h i 1 because at this pipe 1 there is the loss of head at the entrance of the pipe 1 so how we can write this so we know that what is its value that is 0 0.5 v1 square by 2g so why v1 because here velocity of this pipe first is we have to consider v1 so we will take 0 0.5 v1 square by 2g so i will say h i1 because this is the lo loss of head at the entrance of pipe 1 now if we observe what is the exit of this pipe 1 so here the diameter is getting suddenly increased so we can say that at the exit of pipe 1 there is the loss that is he1 because loss of head due to sudden enlargement that is loss of head at sudden enlargement how we can mention what is the formula so we know that it is v1 minus v2 bracket square by 2g so we now we have to consider the major losses so there is the major losses are losses due to friction and why friction is there when water is flowing through the pipe this water is in contact with pipe surface and there is the resistance so here due to friction there is the resistance and losses are taking place so we will consider the loss of head due to friction in pipe 1 and loss of head due to friction in pipe 2. So what is the formula for HF? So we know that 4F LV square. 4F LV square by 2G. But here in pipe 1, L is equal to L1. And velocity V is equal to V1. Now in the same way HF2. That is, again we have to repeat the formula, but for length L2 and then velocity V2. So, I will write here, which is equal to 4F L2 V2 square by 2G. Now, if we observe all the losses, these losses are in terms of V1 and V2, where V1 and V2 both are unknown. Now, if we observe the Bernoulli's equation here, this Bernoulli's equation is in the form of V2. So, we have to replace V1 for V2. So, we have to convert this V1 in the form of V2. So, how to convert? So, for that, we have to apply continuity equation at this pipe 1 and at this pipe 2. So, what is this continuity equation? That is A1 V1 is equal to A2 V2. So, V1 is equal to A2 by A1 V2. So, we will take here A2 that is pi by 4 D2 square and A1 pi by 4 D1 square V2. So, this pi by 4 pi by 4 is getting cancelled that is D2 by D1 bracket square V2. So, what is D2? 0 0.3 by 0 0.15. So, 0 0.3 by 0 0.15 that is 2 square V2 that is V1 is equal to 4 V2. So we will take here V1 is equal to 4 V2. So what is happening here for H I1? So if I take here 4 V2 bracket square that is 0 0.5 into 16 into V2 square by 2G. So we have to take this 
value in the form of v2 now in the same way for h e1 also instead of this v1 we have to take 4 v2 so 4 v2 minus v2 that is 3 v2 bracket square by 2g 3 v2 bracket square means 9 v2 square by 2g now in the same way for this hf1 also we have to take v1 that is 4 v2 that is 16 v2 square so 4 fl1 16 v2 square by 2g and here hf2 is already in the form of v2 so we have to take all these values in the form of v2 and if we put this in the Bernoulli's equation then our Bernoulli's equation will have only one unknown term that is v2 and it is easy for us to calculate the v2 now we will simplify all losses in terms of v2 square by 2g and we will put the value so we will rewrite this Bernoulli's equation that is 8 is equal to v2 square by 2g plus now hi1 is 8v2 square by 2g plus he1 that is 9v2 square by 2g plus hf1 so here we have to put the value 4 into fl1 so if we observe that the value of f is given and l1 is also known so we will write here after putting the value 106.67v2 square by 2g plus now in the same way we have to also put the values that is for f that is friction coefficient of friction 0 0.01 and l2 is 15 so when we put the value we will get 2 v2 square by 2g now we will take here v2 square by 2g in common and here the coefficient is 1 so we, i will take 1 plus 8 plus 9 plus 106.67 plus 2 so when we solve this we will get the answer v2 is equal to 1.113 meter now we will find out what is the discharge or rate of flow q so now area a2 is known so a2 v2 that is q that is pi by 4 into 0 0.3 square into 1.113 that is equal to 0 0.07867 meter cube per second and we will convert it into liter per second by multiplying with 10 raised to 3 that is 78.67 liter per second and this is the answer